Hi. So uh, today I'm going thrifting uh, for the first time. Uh, with a reason being that I am looking specifically for a uh, micro set type device with a DVD player, a radio, and an amplifier on the device because the one I, uh, we currently use does not work. Uh, so yeah, I'm going. Uh, I had made an appointment at my local thrift store for one o'clock uh, Amsterdam time. Uh, so I just have to wait until that point. But we want let me tell you what happened. So we had that micro set for quite some time, and uh, as for now, the radio works just fine with great reception. Unfortunately, I can't really let you hear any of that. Otherwise, we might be copy striked uh, uh, by YouTube and perhaps risking our channel. Uh, but what does happen is uh, what does also work amplify external inputs work just fine as well with a digital radio a receiver, actually, digital TV receiver that can do radio. However, the part that does not work is the DVD player. Uh, we can get it to insert a disc, but then it does not read that disc at all. I tried to open it up, but I couldn't find the culprit. So that's why we're getting a second-hand uh, new uh, player. The reason why I'm getting second-hand is because I couldn't find any new Microsoft DVD players, and B, I want to support uh, the thrift store and the environment in general as well. Okay, so this is the first micro set device that I'm, I've got on my list of the ones that are here. This is actually, that's the only one with a DVD player right there. Uh, and it looks to be in pretty great condition. Let's flip it over. I've got some, it comes with a pair of speakers. Right here, this is one speaker. And speakers having an impedance of 4 ohm. Uh, I've got now the exact output power of this device and all the input power of the speaker. Of course, we have to be able to pull them right there. It says, can't read it, line 8. And we need to line into that digital radio uh, with the micro. Yep, they have a second micro set, which actually is 5.1. I've got two, the three tiny speakers and a big R. So we've uh, this one on the back end has the same problem. My battery input is to be found anywhere on the device. So this, let's look a little bit further. How was wrong with this uh, set? First one. Look, line in there. Found the necessary cable from a 3.5 millimeter jack there. Plus trying to align the input here, it's fine. At the front, uh, so RCA, which is quite a good TV receiver. Uh, I guess I had some trouble with the testing, but at least I was able to plug in the device and uh, turn it on, which I guess means that's also could read a CD. As of right now, the uh, micro set has been installed completely uh, with composite cables going to the TV uh, for the video from the DVD player. An extra audio cable uh, also through uh, the change style connector uh, on one end to the TV receiver to the cable box and the other end goes uh, in. 3.5 millimeter jack on the front of our micro set and it works fine as in it can uh, play DVDs, CDs, we can listen to radio, analog and digital and it can also do USB audio which is something our old micro set couldn't do however it did not come with a remote control but that's not a problem it's also a very special feature, which is that if you stop a CD or DVD at a certain point, the device can, uh, or Microsoft can remember that point and continue from that point. But it also means that I now have a uh, the older Microsoft. 
in it was only the DVD player that didn't work uh, the amplifier works just fine and I used it uh, in my new uh, editing setup so I'm moving it stuff around right there is the old microset uh, with one of the new speakers that comes with the new microset and we've used the new microset with the old speakers which also works just fine after a bit of fiddling around with the cabling uh, it works just fine in stereo at least they uh, there is the blue speaker that I typically uh, used before I've got we've got the new microset and I can use the old one but I had to replace it because I, uh, it had a mode button, it had an auto input, but it's not automatic. In fact, uh, lately I have been finally finding myself hitting that mode button several times after each other for some reason that I do not fully understand. And uh, now it's uh, literally just one click of the auto of a button on the remote control and I don't have to even physically grab uh, the speakers in order to change sources which of course would be mudding them up a little bit and uh, this could probably be the start of a proper life I might get like a tape deck or a uh, turntable and perhaps hook it up to the system so I can play uh, respectively cassettes and vinyl records which I'm really excited for because we have just made some kind of a resurgence uh, quite some years ago and it's perhaps still going on so I really hope that it works so let you I'm gonna let you play a sample of what the new microset sounds like now of course keep in mind that uh, your sound quality might differ because you might use uh, a set of small computer speakers. Like I just use one computer speaker, or actually even a Bluetooth straight eye speaker, and it didn't sound the best either, especially with all that interference. Right? It's now almost gone because there's no ground loop. Now, the ground loop, just in case you don't know, ground loop occurs in audio if a source device and an amplifier share the same ground that could cause lots of interference and now that's completely gone or almost completely gone ignoring the very minor interference from the power lines both devices eventually share and yeah as well as that these speakers are just bigger and in stereo they work in stereo uh, which means that I can get higher quality sound out of this I'm going to be going into 2D specification, but it works fine and it really makes the sound louder than the old uh, little speaker that I used. Now, the new Microsoft also sounds just fine, uh, well, at least very well in stereo again. Uh, when listening to the radio, listening to seats, listening to DVDs, I can't show you that because that would lead to a copyright strike and eventually legal action by the Dutch Public Broadcasting Corporation who owns the rights to whatever is transmitted.